Hello, and welcome to the third video of the Gaston Plus 9.7 tutorial phase two, dedicated to the ACAT model. The ACAT correspond to the advanced compartmental absorption and transit model. This is the model we use for oral administration, whether we are talking about solution, tablet capsules, or also for control release formulation. This model divides the gastrointestinal tract in nine compartments, starting with the stomach, the duodenum, all the way to the cecum and ascending colon. Each compartment is defined by its own physiological properties, such, such as the length, the radius, the pH, etc. In each compartment, the drugs can be in three stages, either unreleased for control release formulation, and dissolved if the drug precipitates at a certain pH, or dissolved. Finally, only the drugs that can that is dissolved can be absorbed into this layer which corresponds to the enterocyte. Once the drug is in the enterocyte, it can either be metabolized or also transferred into the portal vein and finally reaching the liver. So that's the state of the art model to describe oral administration. This ACAT model defines the mechanistic absorption modeling. And that mechanistic absorption model has to be combined with a distribution and elimination model that can be either a compartmental model as presented on the screen here, such as we did in the first phase of this tutorial, or a full physiologically based pharmacokinetics model such as we just created in the previous video and verified using IV data. When you look at Gastroplus on the gut physiology tab, here is the mathematical representation of the ACAT model. For each tissue, you see the specific physiological parameters, such as the transit time, the volume, the length, the radius, as well as the biosalt or the pore radius for the paracellular absorption. You can also see that because we have defined the CYP3 for location in the gut, in these model settings, depending on the localization, either we are in the duodenum or the CECOM, the amount of 3F4 varies by almost tenfold. And this information are based on literature data. When you see these parameters, they typically define by default in GastroPlus a human physiology pasted. You can select to go for human physiology fed, but we have also specific physiologies for all of the preclinical species, whether they are fasted or fed, all based once again on published information. You can also, of course, modify some of these parameters and save that physiology to represent a certain physiology you may want to try, or maybe a certain disease state. For example, in oncology, it's known that some patients have their GI physiology affected, so you could create your own physiology to reflect the effect or the side effect of some drugs. So the take-home message of this video is that the ACAT model represents the gastrointestinal tract and it divides it in nine segments. Each segment is defined by the physiological parameters, such as the length, the radius, the pH, and so on. You can define the fasted and fed state, and you can model them using the ACAT model. We have predefined gut physiologies for human, 
and all of the major preclinical species in both facile and failed. And of course, I just explained, you can create your own physiology, your own gut physiology to represent a certain disease state or certain physiologies you would like to try in your simulation. With that, I would like to thank you very much for your attention and I will see you in the next videos. For more information, you can visit the website or send us an email at info at simulation-plus.com. Thank you very much.